Today, we have this beautiful Our Lady of the Angels artwork, this fabulous statue of Saint Ignatius, and this adorable sister softy stuffed doll here on EWTN Religious Catalog. And I hope you have a blessed reminder of the love of Jesus in your house and in your heart. Welcome to EWTN Religious Catalog. My name is Joy Pinto, and today I am so excited to be with beautiful, precious Debbie Cowden as my co-host. Debbie, I'm so excited to be with you. We haven't done this in a while together. It, it has been a long time, but I'm really happy to be with you today because we're going to be talking about saints in the month of August, and August is one of my favorite months. You had a lot going on. You were born in that month. Mm -hmm, it's I, your anniversary. It is. It is. And some of my favorite saints are this month, too. So I'm really excited over the next few weeks to be talking about like St. Clair of Assisi, St. Maximilian Colby, yes. St. Ignatius of Loyola, so it's going to be a really, really awesome time, and, and I'm really blessed to be back with you again. I'm I mean excited. That. Well, Debbie, let's go ahead and get started. Well, the Feast of Our Lady of the Angels of Portsiuncola is in the week of August 2nd. Now, this is a great Franciscan feast day because St. Francis of Assisi realized his vocation when he was in the chapel of Our Lady of the Angels of Portsiuncola. And after his conversion, St. Francis repaired the little chapel commonly referred to as the Portsiuncola or the little portion. And our beloved Mother Angelica gave the name of Our Lady of the Angels to her monastery in 1962. Well, first I'd like to show you Our Lady of the Angels framed artwork. Now this picture is a reproduction of the painting of William Bouguereau, and it depicts Mary as queen, presenting the infant Jesus to a choir of angels. And it's displayed in a fabulous gold wood frame under non-glare glass. And so we have two different sizes. The first one measures 16 by 24. And then we also have this adorable smaller print version. And it's measuring seven and a half inches by 10 and a half inches. And this one you could put maybe in a chapel in your home, um, in your room. I'm just always amazed at all of the products that I've purchased here at EWTN, my holy reminders, how meaningful they are to me in my home, to my family when they come in, and especially to our grandchildren. And it's everything becomes a teachable moment. No, no, why do you have that statue? What is that picture about? And so, and it's very comforting to have these beautiful holy reminders in our home. So this is a great buy. Next, I'd like to show you Our Lady of the Angels Chapel Triptych Ornament. Now, this beautiful wood ornament features a picture of the sanctuary of Our Lady of the Angels Chapel right here in Irondale, Alabama, with a portion of the Eucharistic Adoration Prayer of the Poor Clares of Perpetual Adoration printed on the side panels. Now, the reverse has a, small, has a smooth, dark brown wood grain finish and it measures a beautiful, perfect little four and a quarter inches high. And then we also have it available in a Spanish version. You could get it right here at EWTM Religious Catalog in the Spanish version also. Beautiful. And so if you've taken a trip to EWTN, right, say you came on a pilgrimage and you want to bring back a little momentum to have and to say, I purchased this for you and this is the place where I prayed for you. Maybe you participated in Eucharistic adoration for a loved one. It's a great gift to give as a wonderful reminder of your trip to Irondale, Alabama. Exactly. And, you know, in the wintertime when we have Mass at 7 a.m. Central, sometimes it's still dark when Mass is starting mm -hmm. or when you go into the chapel early to pray. And so when you walk in, that is the view that you will see. And um, I, I remember when I would go to morning Mass and um, not so often anymore because I have two small children, but you go in and you see, first thing you see when you walk mm -hmm. in is Jesus mm -hmm. and you see the angels adoring Jesus. Yeah. And so this is a beautiful reminder whether you've been here for a pilgrimage or whether you've been watching EWTN for years and years mm -hmm. and years, you get a head-on direct view of our Lord and the Blessed yeah. Sacrament. And it's pretty
pretty cool to be able to pr be praying the same prayer yes. that Mother Angelica prayed to. Absolutely beautiful. And then next we have these fabulous note cards. Now, I'm a note card writer. So we're in this new age of social media. You be the social media <laughs> queen. Me be a little old school. I like to write notes. So that's what I like to do. So note cards are good for me. I'm not a tweeter. I'm not, I don't like texting ever so much. I do like writing note cards. So this beautiful package of note cards features the sanctuary of Our Lady of the Angels Chapel. And it was designed exclusively for our EWTN family. And on the inside, it's a wonderful blank card with ample room for a personal note to say to someone that you've been praying for them. Just like you can get the triptych little ornament, you can also get note cards and say, I prayed for you when I was in this chapel. I, mm -hmm. I prayed the rosary for you. I prayed with all the angels and saints in this place. And this beautiful set includes six cards and envelopes. These cards as well of Our Lady of the Angels we have shown you today are made right here in the USA. And in the back, it says, also EWTN, so beautiful and wonderful. Another reminder of love that you've sacrificed and you've been for a loved one. Now, this beautiful book. Now, we had these ladies on our show, and At Home with Jim and Joy. Now, the International Day of Friendship, in case you didn't know this, is July 30th. So we, should, we thought we'd show you this great book. This is called the Friendship Project. Now these beautiful Catholic women, they developed this book. It's a guide to keeping fabulous, faithful friends. So Michelle Finley and Emily Geminette, their wives, their mothers, their Catholic speakers, and they're lots of fun. They're full of energy. And in this book, these two women explore the cardinal and theological virtues with an eye toward friendship. And they help us answer questions like, what does it mean to be a woman of hope? And how does that change our lives and make us more compassionate friends during difficult times? This book includes prayers, discussions, questions, and a study guide. You know, so sometimes like you've moved away, maybe you've lost a network of friends, you need to cultivate a new network of friends. And I'm a little older and I could probably count on my hand my dear, dear friends, mm -hmm. who I know are gonna be with me to the end. And uh, so we have a lot of acquaintances, but those true friendships, you wanna cultivate them. You wanna keep them healthy, you wanna keep them holy. Um, this is a great book to do with friends, a woman's Bible study, um, a woman's prayer group, whatever you got going on. And nowadays we often hear, you know, you have to do what's best for you and you have to do what's, what's right for your own situation. But not very often are we saying, Here's, here's what we can do to grow in holiness or, or friend, I love you and I want what's best for mm -hmm. you. And, and so the way that you're living right now is, is not the best. Mm -hmm. Let's walk together in friendship and in our faith and grow together. Uh, so instead of just having your friends do whatever they think is right, let's look to the saints as they do in this book mm -hmm. and let's strive for holiness together. Yeah. And another group of lovely ladies that we can help grow in holiness are our sisters. And National Sister Day is this week too. Now this day is not specifically for religious sisters, but we thought it would be a good time to show our appreciation for them too. And so the first item that we have today is the Sister Softy Stuffed Doll. And this doll is so soft to the touch and her bright eyes and rosy cheeks are sure to bring a smile to your child's face. I'm thinking of my three-year-old who would be especially <laughs> fond of this little doll. The doll stands 14 inches tall and her habit is lovingly handcrafted just for her. So this would make a nice toy for your child to bring to mass. That is adorable. She is really sweet and it will also help your children develop mm -hmm. um, a familiarity with religious life. Right which also is very important. Mm -hmm. So this next item is sold separately, but they do go together very, very well. It's the All About Angels with Sister Softy board book. And this beautifully illustrated board book is a wonderful way to introduce your children to the reality of their own guardian angels. In the book, Sister Softy explains all about who angels are and what they do. And at the end of the book, she teaches us the guardian angel prayer. This book is recommended for children children six months to four years. And as the mother of two children, I can testify that reading to your children and specifically reading 
Holy Reminder books to your children makes a huge difference. We've gotten prayer books from EWTNRC.com and we've had some other religious books that um, our parents and grandparents have given us. And that's how your children learn yes. the prayers. Mm -hmm. And so this is a great book to give to your children, your godchildren, your grandchildren, your nieces and nephews, and to go along with it, mm -hmm. sold separately, but a great pair, the Sister Softy Stuffed Doll. That's a great read right before bedtime. And then you could take your little stuffed little angel and cuddle up and go to bed. Say Amen. your prayers and call it a night. <laughs> Amen, I agree. EWTNRC.com has so many programs that are perfect for helping kids grow in the faith. And one of those is My Secret Friend, a Guardian Angel Story DVD. This animated children's program presents the story of a little girl and her guardian angel. And here's a clip of this program. Have you ever seen your guardian angel? No, they're invisible. Well then, have you ever heard him? Has he talked to you? No, but guardian angels don't talk to us like you and I are doing. Uh-huh. Well, if you know so much about guardian angels, then what's yours named? I don't know, but Grandpa says guardian angels are real, and he wouldn't lie. Who said he was lying? It's sort of like telling a fairy tale. No, it isn't. Boy, Angie, I'll bet even this rabbit has more sense than you do. Hopper! The DVD includes your choice of English, Spanish, or French audio, and the running time is 30 minutes. St. Ignatius of Loyola's Feast Day is this week on July 31st, so we have the St. Ignatius of Loyola statue and free book set. And this 16th century saint, the youngest of 13 children, lived a very secular and sinful life when he was young. However, when he was recovering after being wounded in battle, he spent his time reading saints' biographies and the life of Jesus, so he soon converted. And he's best known for his writings, like his spiritual exercises, and for founding the Society of Jesus, also known as the Jesuits. So this highly detailed statue is made of cold cast bronze. It measures six and a half inches high. When you purchase a statue, you will receive a free book the Spiritual Exercises of St. Ignatius. And this faithfully translated text of the Spiritual Exercises has been a favorite of Jesuits, spiritual directors, retreatants, and general readers for decades. You can find this item and so many more at the all new EWTNRC.com. Our website has had a marvelous makeover and it's easier than ever to find what you're looking for. And on your visit to EWTNRC.com, be sure to take advantage of the great deal that we have for you. Check it out. With a simple click on your PC or smartphone, Holy Reminders can be on their way to your doorstep. Now with free standard shipping on orders of $75 or more. From the EWTN Religious Catalog website, buy Catholic, shop EWTNRC.com. I just wanted to remind everyone that our call center is now open in-house at EWTN. Now it's open Monday through Friday from 8 in the morning to 8 at night Eastern Time and Saturday from 12 noon until 4 p.m. Eastern Time. Know that when you call, you are going to be greeted by someone right here at EWTN and we're so delighted when you call. Now, St. Alphonsus Maria Liguori's feast day is August 1st. Now, he was an 18th century Italian bishop and theologian who founded the Congregation of the Most Holy Redeemer, also known as the Redemptorists. He was declared a doctor of the church in 1871. St. Alphonsus is the patron saint of those afflicted with arthritis. So for those of you who are out there and you have arthritis, you are uncomfortable, maybe in your fingers and your backs and your bones, he is the saint to pray to. Now this great book I'd like to bring to you today is called The Glories of Mary. Saint Alphonsus has assembled the very finest information about Our Lady, taken from the writings of the saints, holy authors, and from sacred scripture. This book includes five complete books in one volume. And the first book explains the words of Salve Regina. The second explains in depth her principal feast. 
The third examines the seven sorrows of Mary, and the fourth describes ten different virtues of Our Lady. And the fifth book gives dozens of famous prayers, meditations, devotions, and so much more. And what it will give you is a great revelation into Our Blessed Mother. You know, I'm a convert, and for those on that journey where you're thinking, you're thinking you're coming into the Catholic Church, maybe you don't understand everything about Mary, and gosh, you know, and people can only answer so many questions. This would be a great read for you to digest slowly and to get all of your questions answered. And then finally, you just have to say, Our Blessed Mother, I choose by an act of my will to love you. And then there begins your intimate journey with her. And she has so enriched my life. I love Our Blessed Mother, said the former Protestant. <laughs> so, now the next you can do, we have this great CD. It's Praying the Rosary with St. Alphonsus Liguori. This is a great CD. Now, it's a two-set CD with original music, lyrics, and meditations by St. Alphonsus. His words and hymns are performed and sung by internationally renowned musicians that you can hear right now. Virgin Most Powerful, Mystical Rose, Gate of Heaven, Pray for Us, Queen of Angels, and the lips of Alphonsus trembled. The words got caught in his throat. He struggled and coughed, and finished them smilingly in heaven. Queen, Queen, she was his queen. When you purchase this CD set, you will receive a free copy of the St. Alphonsus Liguori Novena and Prayers. So you purchase the CD, you get this beautiful little booklet, and this booklet contains a novena. And this novena to St. Alphonsus is embellished by several pictures, a short biography, a litany of prayers, to this great saint. Now, you know what I love about the Catholic Church is I love discovering a saint, right? There are so many saints. It's endless. When I became a Catholic, I said, I feel like I'm in kindergarten. There's so much to learn. My family is great and large by um, great outstanding human beings who did miraculous things for God just by surrendering to his will. And so as for me, just a regular ordinary person doing my journey, doing everything I can to get myself to heaven, to have the saints, I like CDs, I like listening and praying the rosary in my car going to work. I got about a 25 minute ride. You pop in, you could do the rosary and you've had a beautiful intimate encounter with our Blessed Mother and praying the rosary with Jesus. Next we have this beautiful St. Alphonsus holy card with a medal. Just wonderful. Now this laminated holy card features a picture of St. Alphonsus with a medal of the saint encased in the card. And on the back is a prayer for healing of arthritis and rheumatism. And the prayer begins, I come to you, loving father of the poor and the sick, who is also afflicted with the ailments of arthritis. You who devoted your life with heroic charity to the sick, I ask for your intercession to be cured and healed of my ailment and to protect me of all my suffering. There are many more holy cards on our website, including cards for all the saints that we are mentioning to you today at that great, marvelous website, EWTNRC.com. And one of those saints is St. John Vianney. Well, St. John Vianney's feast day is this week on August 4th. Pope Emeritus Benedict XVI proclaimed St. John Vianney the universal patron of priests and said that the Cure of Ars is a true example of a pastor at the service of Christ's flock. Today we have for you then the Cure of Ars, the priest who out-talked the devil. And in this book, Milton Lomask tells the story of young Jean-Marie Vianney, a farm boy born during the French Revolution who longed to become a priest. 
Struggling to learn Latin, it seemed as if the humble, lovable Jean-Marie would never be ordained. And now he is known as the parish priest who devoted his life to the little village of ours and so successfully led people to sanctity that he became a prime target of the devil. And so in this book, you'll learn how he out-talked the devil. And when you learn about the life of St. John Vianney, you'll learn that he battled the devil head on. And he also took on penances for his parish so that uh, the penances that were too difficult for them wouldn't deter them from receiving the sacrament of confession. He loved the sacrament of confession and he would hear confessions for hours and hours a day. And um, it's said that the devil himself said that if there were two more St. John Vianney's in the world, then the devil's kingdom would fall. So mm -hmm. what an amazing role model for our parish priests. We need to pray for priests. They need it so badly. And one saint that we can look to for the protection and the guardianship of priests is St. John Vianney. The next item I have for you was one of the most popular items from last week's show. It's the St. Bridget of Sweden, the movie DVD. St. Bridget of Sweden was a wife, mother, mystic, and saint. And in this EWTN original movie, one of Europe's most prolific women comes to life. Queens and nobles sought Bridget's advice on political matters while she served as a counselor to the royal court but she would be destined to advise souls on something even greater than politics. In this movie, you will be able to follow the trials that led St. Bridget of Sweden from the walls of a palace to the humble cells of a convent and discover the profound revelations that called her to start a new religious order. Let's take a look at a clip from this DVD. Mother, there's a monk that's spreading the word that this is the time of the coming of the Antichrist. He even wrote a book, and that the Archangel Michael appeared to him, who gives him the necessary money to live. Mother, forgive them. Don't worry. They want to know whether this monk is telling the truth. Yes. They say you can ask God. Everyone knows you speak with God. In truth, God wants to speak to each one of us. It is we who don't listen to him. The running time is 90 minutes, and when you purchase this DVD, you'll receive a free book, The Magnificent Prayers of St. Bridget of Sweden. Based on the passion and death of Christ, these prayers are an easy and efficacious means of meditation on our Lord's passion and death. And the book also features illustrations. So you can buy this book as part of the set, but you may also order it separately. It would be a wonderful and inexpensive book to give your family and friends. We are introducing a weekly special this week to provide you with a tremendous saving opportunity. So today we have a Pope Benedict special. This is the Benedict Up Close, the inside story of eight dramatic years and the election of Pope Benedict XVI DVD. In Benedict Up Close, Paul Body offers a unique glimpse into the drama of Pope Emeritus Benedict's pontificate. In addition to highlighting the various historical accomplishments of Benedict XVI, Body also chronicles the almost superhuman struggle against overwhelming hostilities that formed against the shy and exceedingly kind man. The election of Pope Benedict the 16th DVD features Raymond Arroyo and Father Richard John Newhouse as they guide through the announcement of Joseph Cardinal Ratzinger as the first Pope elected during the third millennium. The DVD also includes the first Urbi at Orbi address of Pope Benedict XVI on the evening of April 19th, 2005. The running time for this DVD is two hours. And with this set, you will save 40% off the regular price. If you're ever lonely or discouraged, try to think of the words that Pope Benedict said in 2005. Each of us is the result of a thought of God. Each of us is willed. Each of us is loved. Each of us is necessary. This means that no matter your sins or failures, you are loved by God. He made you. He wants a relationship with you. And you should never doubt these facts. Now, here's a recap of the items we showed you today, as well as information about how to order. 
The Our Lady of the Angels framed artwork, 16 by 24 inches, is item number 65A for $110. The Our Lady of the Angels framed artwork is item number 65A1 for $30. Our Lady of the Angels triptych ornament is item number TREW1 for $9.95. The Spanish Our Lady of the Angels Chapel Ornament is item number SPEW1 for $9.95. The Our Lady of the Angels Chapel Note Cards Six Pack is item number 6522X for $6.95. The Friendship Project is item number 17611 for $16. The Sister Softy Stuffed Doll is item number SS446 for $36. The All About Angels with Sister Softy Board Book is item number 44697 for $10. My Secret Friend, a Guardian Angel Story DVD, A10D for $15. The St. Ignatius of Loyola statue and free book is item number 76781K for $76. The book The Glories of Mary is item number 187 for $30. Praying the Rosary with St. Alphonsus Liguori CD and a free St. Alphonsus Liguori Novena and Prayer book is item number 465C for $18. The Healing St. Alphonsus Holy Card with Medal is item number C1508 for $3. The book The Cure of Ours, The Priest Who Outtalked the Devil is item number CAPP for $10. St. Bridget of Sweden, the movie, DVD, and the book, The Magnificent Prayers of St. Bridget of Sweden, item number HDMSTB for $15. And the weekly special for you is the Pope Benedict XVI book and DVD set, item number 80381K for $24.60. And that is a savings of over 40%. To order your Holy Reminders, please visit EWTNRC.com. It's safe and secure, 24 hours per day, seven days per week. We accept Visa, MasterCard, Discover, and American Express. That's EWTNRC.com or by calling 1-800-854-6316. Call center hours are Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Eastern, and Saturday from 12 noon to 4 p.m. Eastern. Visit EWTN.com and sign up to receive our e-blasts. Don't forget to visit and like us on Facebook. Carry EWTN with you everywhere on the EWTN app. You'll find video and audio programs sold by Religious Catalog that you can rent or purchase. Download them onto your mobile device and start watching today by getting the app at EWTNapps.com. Remember to take advantage of our free standard shipping offer on all online orders over $75 by using the promo code FREE at checkout. Next time on EWTN Religious Catalog, we'll show you a new San Damiano crucifix and several special plaques that feature the image of Mary and Jesus titled Salus Populi Romani. Here are the air times. Well, Debbie, it was certainly a great pleasure working with you today. And I hope that you enjoyed this great episode of EWTN Religious Catalog. Now go out and go shopping on EWTNRC.com. Thank you so much for joining us and have a blessed day.